Hello everybody. My wife's friend has a laptop that won't turn on. You need to press the power button. It doesn't do anything. The power button doesn't seem like it's in the right position. It feels jammed down in there. Not much action on it. So I'm going to take it apart. If the switchboard has to be replaced, it's very inexpensive. It's probably seven or eight bucks on eBay, brand new. And the problem is getting to it, and all you need to do is Google the part number. You can pull up a Dell service manual. Dell's really good about these more recent machines. I'll walk you through step by step which screws to take off and which cables to disconnect, and you'll be able to get to the power button. So I have the laptop completely apart, and this is the switchboard here. There's a close-up view of the power button board. Here's a close-up of the power switch. This coin, for size reference, is a dime. The switch itself is this rectangular brass piece. And when you push the power button, this dome on the switch moves up and down. Here's the problem. You see that little dot right there? That little piece is supposed to be attached to the very center of this button. I don't know if it's probably glued on there because it's a different material, but it's supposed to be on the center of that button, and that's why when you press the power button, the plastic power button, it's not able to push this all the way down. So you see how tiny that is? It's falling off. That's the reason the button's not working. A little back center device, which I don't know what the material is yet. I don't know if it's metallic or plastic, but that has shifted out of position. The adhesive probably released, and that's the reason my wife's friend can't turn her laptop on. Based on product pictures I'm able to find online, I've noticed that the push button switch on certain boards is uh, silver, whereas this one seems to have a brass colored switch with the black button. This is the back side of a board, and the part number is LS-B844P, revision 1. Various boards that I've looked at, the back shows a vendor. As this particular vendor is CGE. You'll notice different vendor markings on the back of identical boards. That just confirms multiple vendors are used, and I would assume vendors are free to substitute certain components, provided that the overall board meets the specification. This particular offering also has a silver looking switch here and the switch design looks to be a little more substantial than the one that I have that's failed. Here's a quick comparison of the two switches. The lower switch is my new one. The upper switch is my original. The original has the plastic packing tape over it. The new one, silver in color. Construction seems to be a little bit different but as best as I can tell that little black dot is also glued to the top of that tactile membrane. So hopefully it will stay in place and uh, not fail like the original. Time will tell. If this video helped you or you found this at all informative, how about a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Be sure to check out my other video which shows a hack that might help you get your PC working if you're desperate to do it quickly without waiting on parts to arrive.